Uh, we implemented the zero tolerance policy on January the 1st, and we've heard from people across the city that it has made a positive, measurable difference in their commute times. They have reported that person after person, week after week. And while the zero tolerance policy continues to be enforced, uh, and Chief Saunders will talk to you about that in a moment, uh, I've noticed and people have told me that bad habits start to seep back into the system uh, and the bad actors are once again uh, choosing to selfishly block lanes of traffic during rush hour for their own uh, purposes. Uh, I recognize that changing behavior on a permanent basis takes time and you may never change everybody's behavior permanently, but like seat belts, which is now, what, 30 years old, that law, like distracted driving, like driving driving while you've been drinking, um, it, it, it is necessary for us to continue to emphasize the fact this is wrong, this is selfish, this is unacceptable, and uh, that people cannot simply violate the law at a time of their own choosing and inconvenience thousands of other people. And so that is why I'm pleased to stand here uh, today with Chief Saunders to give the public and business uh, notice so that they can prepare for the fact that starting October the 5th, Toronto Police will be launching a renewed blitz on city streets and will be aggressively ticketing and towing vehicles blocking major roadways. Again, we, we did the same the last time. We gave notice of this so that people would know it was going to happen so that no one can claim to be surprised at this. You wish we didn't have to do these blitzes because you wish people would get it the first time and decide to change their behavior permanently, but human nature is what it is. And so uh, we, we are going to give the same message and we're going to do it the same way, which is to say we don't tolerate this. This is not acceptable behavior in a city where we're trying to keep the city moving for social and economic and common sense reasons, and that if you do this, you will be tagged and you will and that's the way the policy is going to be. People listen when there are penalties to their actions. And I'm here today saying that those blocking roadways obviously need a reminder that their selfish uh, behavior is causing a lot of inconvenience uh, for other people. The traffic giving a two week notice starting October 5th, what we will be doing is we'll be saturating the areas from Bloor Street on the north, Dufferin on the west, and the Don Valley on the south and the Lakeshore, or Don Valley on the east and the Lakeshore on the south. We'll have a lot more officers that'll be patrolling those areas specifically during the rush hours and we will be tagging and towing vehicles. So please, uh, rather than have your vehicle towed, we ask that you comply and not park in those areas. It's there for a reason, and we hope that that compliance will allow for a safer Toronto. Thank you.